turned into is they have been very creative. They've made sunglasses and necklaces and um, really, you know, nice and exciting necklaces that are different from the ones we had been. Um, and their fish, their fish and crosses are beaded and beautiful. So it's been very cool to see the creativity flowing. Um, and I want to give it to someone else. I can share what that is, what makes my life good, what makes me happy. Donc, ma part d'aller, ça qui fait que mon père, ça qui fait la vie. Et puis, ça qui fait la vie. Et puis, ça qui fait la vie. Et puis, ça qui fait la vie. Filled with the cows and the goats, and um, Jill did jump rope. Yes, we played jump rope and balls, and it was good. And then they fought, so we got to shut it down. Um, and we drew pictures of our family, and they got to share some of those um, with all of us. And had God is big enough bracelet. Yes, and we handed out God is big enough in Creole to everybody. Okay, today one of the activities that the kids did was to write messages on beach balls. And we, they don't know this yet, but the surprise on Sunday when they come to church is that the beach balls will be hanging from the ceiling with their messages on them. There's a young boy, about 15, his name is uh, Joseph, and uh, I just wanted to share some of the messages that he put on his beach ball. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God is big enough. Thank you, Diana, Teresa, Jill, and Pastor Steve. I never forget you. I, you stay in my mind. Please remember me, too. I'm Joseph. Thank you. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. Joseph was in our devotional last night. We sang that song. And I don't know if you knew it before, but he does now. He loves the birds. The words on his feet fall. Oh, yeah. 